let's take a look at the placement of minuscule in mandibular vocal alveolus. Interradicular placement between the root. The basic principle is almost the same like in maxillary alveolus. Step 1. Identify the mucogingival junction. After topical papillary injection, you can clearly see the border between attached and free gingiva. That is mucogingival junction. Step 2. Mark a vertical line. With a dental probe, mark a line by pressing the tissue at the center between the root. By referring to a panoramic or periphical x-ray, you can judge and assume the root axis and the center between the root. Step 3. Determine the point of entry. Once the vertical line marked, determine the point of entry. You can put anywhere on the line because in the free gingiva, the tissue is very movable. It is not good for stability of the screw. Choose an attachment gingiva, apically as much as possible for wider space. Step 4. Set the initial path of insertion. Once the point of entry is determined, set the initial path of insertion. Measure distally toward the center between the roots. Occlusion gingivally start from the angulation perpendicular to the bone surface. Because there exists a lot of shape variation in the vocal cortex of mandible, care should be taken to prevent slipping of the screw at the initial stage of insertion. Once the initial path of insertion is set, turn the driver clockwise to insert the screw 1 or 2 mm. And start turning. Step 5. Set the final path of insertion. Then by reverse turn, count clockwise, pull back the screw halfway. Then change the path to apically around 20 to 30 degree or as needed. Step 6. Finish the insertion. Turn the driver clockwise to finish the insertion. Start with a perpendicular angle to bone surface. Pull back by reverse turn to prevent breaking the tip of the screw. Change the path of insertion. Give angulation 20 to 30 degrees or as needed to apically, then turn clockwise to finish the insertion. Maintain the insertion path straight all the way through. Caution! Never change the insertion path while turning the screw. It can cause the breakage of the screw or tip of the screw. Notice the angulation of the screw to the occlusal plane. You can place the screw with the same manner between 6 and 7 and 4 and 5. But when you try to place a screw in the front between 3 and 4 or 2 and 3, for example, as the space between the root is narrow, you should lower the position to the free gingiva area but in free gingiva, the screw is less stable or you'd better use so-called closed method. Otherwise, to place an attached gingiva, you should choose screws with a small diameter. 1.4 or 1.2 mm in diameter rather than 1.6 mm. You can put the screw up to 1.4 mm in diameter without pilot drilling. But when you choose a screw 1.2 mm in diameter, as the low buccal cortical bone is more dense, without pilot drilling, it is fragile and can be broken. So it is strongly recommended to do pilot drilling with a drill about 70% in diameter of the screw. That is 1 mm drill for 1.2 mm screw. Before inserting the screw, with a drill 1 mm in diameter at the point of entry at the center between the root low to apically but stay on the attached gingiva as much as possible 
with the, with the low speed saline irrigation to cool down to minimize damage to the bone. Just puncture the cortical bone. Then pick up a screw 1.2 mm in diameter. Insert the screw at the hole by turning the driver clockwise. <laughs> 